for my demonstration i will be using this tender router this particular model has a nano sim card provision as written at the top here nano sim and it is this sim card that is used in providing internet by 4g network here is a sim card as you can see it provides internet to the router and so this is one option of providing internet into this particular 4g router apart from that the port here the first yellow port the lan is the point through which you can connect network devices to this router so a computer for example can be connected through this first lan port the second port the second ethernet port is both uh, a one port and then also a lan port which means that through this ethernet port as well this second port you can decide to apart from using the sim card to provide internet you may decide to rather use an internet service providers internet service through the the one port connected to this ethernet port that can also provide internet into this router and quite apart from that we also have the wps stroke reset button and so this button would end up resetting the router to default and then also through the same button you can help connect devices through to this router without using the password so that's the essence of the wps and so this button serves a dual purpose both the wps and then the reset and this one as usual is the point through which you can fit power into the router but before we even plug in the power again when you look at the nameplate there are some important informations that you can find here so the first one um, the first information i want us to look at is the access url of which they've written their tender wifi.com so through that url we'll be able to access the web interface of this router so we'll get to use that in our video very shortly and then also this one is a power indication uh, the model number is there the 4g03 pro the mac address the wi-fi name the default wi-fi name for this router is written there 05b750 so when we power it for the first time that will be the default wi-fi name we'll look at how to change it and then the wi-fi key that is the password that we will be required to enter if you are trying to connect to devices or connect devices to this router by wi-fi this is the the default key or password you will be required to put in we'll look at how you can change those um, informations as well so having looked at that we can now power up the router so with the provided power supply point or the power adapter we'll plug it into the power point and once we plug it up you can see that it will be scanning it will try to assess every detail so let's wait and see what happens in terms of the signal conditions on this router you can see that the wi-fi signal has come up and then also you see that the 4g network condition is given two bars which is which means that there is that's the intensity of the the 4g sim card network which means that now there is internet there's wi-fi network being radiated as well now to set up this router there's the need to assess its web interface and i want to use a network cable connected into this um, this router so we connect it to a computer and have to set it up there so i would connect this end into the ethernet port of my computer my computer's ethernet port is here so i would plug it in once i plug it in i expect to have you can see the ethernet port light is up there which means that there is a successful connection between the router and my computer 
and you can see that of the computer also blinking out there so it means there is a successful connection between the router and the computer so we'll go on to the computer now to look at how the web interface or the how the router can be set up from the web interface of the router all right before carrying out any settings on the computer it is advisable to have the computer on dhcp that is to be able to acquire its ip address automatically from the router so what you have to do then is to assess the control panel of your computer so in my search button as i click right in the set button i can click on control panel and from the control panel i would from here assess view network status and task once i open it up i will come to change adapter settings click at change adapter settings and then from ethernet at this point under ethernet i will right click and look at properties so this pop-up that comes will look at internet protocol version 4 we'll double click at it and then you can see that in under general under general we have here obtain an ip address automatically this is an option that is important so that the ip address that the computer would acquire would be the one assigned from the router that we have connected to the computer so once it is at this dhcp point we can click at ok and then uh, close up this point right so now we would open a browser so i'll open up the chrome browser at my desktop here i'll double click at it to open. in the address bar of the computer we'll be entering this url that we have on the router the access url to the router is tenderwifi.com so that is what will enter in the address bar of the of the computer so we would enter tenderwifi.com so tenderwifi.com is there we would assess it by pressing enter so this brings us to the web management page or the web management page of the router and so we we'll would follow the the guide and be able to successfully set up the router so we can just click at start and then it presents us with the wi-fi settings of the router currently the default settings of the wi-fi when you go back to the back of the the wi-fi or the router you realize that the the tender 05b750 is also at the back there the default wi-fi name and then the wi-fi key when we uh, display the wi-fi key you realize that it's the same thing that is on the device as we can see on the device as well and so these are the default settings so we can have these default settings changed to our own suitable settings so in our case we can change the wi-fi name let's name it um i'll name it tech inside out as uh, the wi-fi name tech inside out and then also the wi-fi password let's um let's give the, the wi-fi password as maybe a b c d one two three four let's take it as that and then also uh, we can decide to sync the login password with the wi-fi password which will mean that the same password will be used as the login password and then the wi-fi password if you so wish you can do that so when you click at that you will not need to now put in a login password but um if you so wish you can decide to give separate passwords as a login password and then the wi-fi password that depends on you i'll sync the login password with the wi-fi password and then click at next once we do that you can see that it gives us congratulations you can access the internet now 
please connect to the Wi-Fi network. So it means that now with the Wi-Fi that is being presented here, it would have internet service because the internet service is active. The Wi-Fi is now right is radiating as it used to. And so now this device can be assessed or you can use this router to receive internet to any Wi-Fi device or even through the the LAN port, any of the LAN ports to any of the LAN ports on this Wi-Fi. So internet is now available. But there are more settings that we can carry out on this Wi-Fi router. So when you click at more, you are now required to enter the password. Remember the login password we gave is A B C D one two three four. So once we do that, we can click on login. The login is successful. The login is successful. It presents us with the internet status of the router. At this page, at the center here is the router drum here, the 4G03 Pro router. And to the left is indicated the internet service. You can see connections. If there is no connection, this would have been in red, indicating that there's no internet on the router. And as well, we have devices connected to the router to the right. Currently, there is one device connected, and that should be the computer that we have connected to the router. And so, with all these things, you can click at them to assess what is really behind each of them. So, each of these are clickable links that you can assess. There is one very important setting that you can also do here. The Wi-Fi settings that we did earlier on, um, Wi-Fi settings and the Wi-Fi settings, this is where you can change the settings as the Wi-Fi name and other details. So let's go into it, the Wi-Fi settings. So the Wi-Fi name and password. Remember we did it, we did a change earlier on, which was true like an auto startup wizard but you can still do the Wi-Fi naming and password from here. So when you click at it, it presents you the current name of the Wi-Fi is tech inside out, the encryption type, that one does not really matter. The recommendation is uh, WPA stroke, WPA2 PSK is recommended, so we'll leave it at that. And then the Wi-Fi password. Let's look at the Wi-Fi password as it is here. That is what we assigned. And this is a, another point where you can change the Wi-Fi password if you so wish. So once you are satisfied with these settings, you can click on save and it has saved the configuration successfully for you. All right. That's another very important point to note. And the other thing that I want to also share now is the system settings, the system settings. And under system setting, I will, there are, so many informations here, but one very important one I want to introduce is the LAN settings. So let's assess LAN settings. We click at LAN settings. The first thing here is the LAN IP address. And what is written here is 192.168.0.1. In my earlier videos about IP addressing, you remember that the first three digits of an IP address is what specifies the network. So, for example, 192, I will refer to it as the first digit, 168 as the second digit, and 0 as the third digit. You can decide to change this network IP address so that you may want to assign maybe 192.168.1 as the network. So if you want to change the network of your router, this is where you can change it. And once you change this, it means that the kind of IP addresses that your router will be given will be in this order that you would have specified. And once you change that, for instance, the, if you come down here as well, IP address range, the range that the IP address or the range of IP addresses that you want to assign. So once you change the the network to for instance dot one let me change the zero to one one you realize that the ip range will also change 192.168.1 then the range you want to assign will also change here 
So once we change this IP address range, it means that we are now specifying or defining the kind of IP addresses to be assigned by the router. So this is where you carry out these particular settings. But let me change my network back to zero since I already have devices connected to this router. So when once you are done with this kind of settings, you can just click on save. Configuration succeeded. And so that save setting has been saved for you. And so all these settings or instructions that are here are very self-intuitive. Once you go through, they represent one information or the other that you want to carry out on your router. So that is how you can do the basic setting or setting up of the tender router. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please ensure you subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification so you can always be notified anytime you come up with new videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.